Good morning. Welcome to the fall commencement ceremony of the University of Houston, Victoria. Will the audience please be seated and remain seated during the processional. We ask that you please turn off all cell phones during the ceremony. Please use the second level northeast and northwest landing areas if you want to take pictures of your graduate later in the ceremony. Thank you.
The candidates and the faculty are assembled. We may proceed with commencement exercises. Candidates, faculty, and the platform party, please be seated. Thank you, Dr. Cass. It is my pleasure to welcome you, students, families, faculty, staff, and friends, to the fall 2018 commencement ceremony of the University of Houston, Victoria. Join us, joining us today in our ceremony are distinguished representatives from the University of Houston system, as well as special guests and friends. I am pleased to introduce them now, and I'll ask them to stand. From the University of Houston System Board of Regents, the Honorable Andrew Teo, who is the student regent on the board and will bring, bring greetings shortly. <laughs> From the University of Houston System Administration, Dr. Paula Myrick Short, Senior Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, who will be bringing greetings from the UH system. Also, I'd like to welcome Ms. Christine Hollanden, a UHV alumna and founding principal of Hollanden Marketers Strategists in Houston. She will be formally introduced later on, and I'm pleased to say that she is our commencement speaker today. I'm also happy to present to you some representatives from the President's Regional Advisory Board. This board is a group of outstanding citizens who offer the university administration wise and timely advice on many issues. Please stand while I read your name. Jack Swanson of Wharton County. Brett, Brett Baldwin of Victoria County. And ex officio member Zach Hodges, who serves as president of Houston Community College Northwest. Also in attendance today are some special guests I'd like to introduce. Please stand and be recognized as I call your name, and please hold your applause until I've introduced everyone. Dr. Rick Short, husband of Dr. Paula Myrick Short, and the Dean and a Professor of Psychology in the School of Human Sciences and Humanities at UH Clear Lake. Mr. Jeff Hollanden, husband of commencement speaker, Ms. Christine Hollanden, and Ms. Florence Hafernick Admatis, Ms. Hollanden's mother. My wife, Mrs. Sally Cochran, and our special guests are being hosted today by Mrs. Lori Glenn, wife of UHV President Dr. Robert K. Glenn. Thank you all. At this time, I'd also like to introduce Ms. Lakita DeMerchant, our alumni representatives. Ms. DeMerchant, please stand so we can welcome you. UHV is, short, is fortunate to have dedicated administrators who work to help students achieve success and are part of the President's Cabinet. Some of them are seated behind me on stage, and I would like to ask them to stand and be recognized at this time. At the heart of any university, of course, is its faculty. You've already seen and heard from a faculty representative, our Grand Marshal, Dr. Jeffrey Cass, President of the Faculty Senate and a Professor of English in the School of Arts and Sciences. The Grand Marshal plays an important role in today's ceremony. Please join me in greeting Dr. Cass. <laughs> Finally, I'm pleased to introduce to you, my colleagues, the faculty, the people who provide the wisdom, the caring, the skills, and the knowledge that elevate and empower our graduates. Will the faculty please rise and be recognized?
So now I would like everyone to stand as the Student Government Association President, Mr. Deshavian Williams, leads us in a moment of reflection. On this day, a new phase of life began for these graduates. So together with their families and friends, they gather here. They look towards the future. May they lead with confidence as they embark on new ventures. May they respect the needs of others as they set out for their, new, or their ultimate goals. May their peace be in the world and in the hearts of every man and woman. We will now offer a moment of silence for those who wish to, for those who wish to reflect upon this day, or for thanks for those for the memorable time in their lives. Thank you. Please be seated. We will now have our official welcome from Dr. Robert K. Glenn, the 10th president of the University of Houston, Victoria. Dr. Glenn. I don't know who's more excited, me or the graduates. This is my first commencement here at the University of Houston, Victoria, and I am so proud to be in front of such a tremendous group of graduates, 450 strong today. Ladies and gentlemen, our graduates. <laughs> Commencement ceremonies represent the most important ritual in the academic world. The academic regalia and traditions we use on this day are intended to honor and affirm our graduates' dedication and their accomplishments. I'm delighted that all of these candidates and their guests are here today to participate so that we can properly celebrate our students' achievements at UHV. As your, as your UHV president, I want you to know that I am proud of each and every one of you. Your graduation is a great cause for celebration, not only for you and your families, but also for us and the faculty. We celebrate our graduates. We are also celebrating our success as an institution. During the last four years, our university has grown to more than 4,300 students, taking 70 pro degree programs and concentrations. UHV is an Hispanic-serving institution with a diverse student body and faculty. The growth in our student body has led to expansion on our Victoria campus. It won't be long before we will open the University Commons, our brand new student center and learning commons, and a modern library a new science, technology, engineer, and math building, a new residence hall that we are calling Smith Hall in honor of UHV Provost Emeritus Don Smith, and the former Town Plaza Mall building that we are renovating for the university to use. The Bennett Wood family also recently donated 65 acres of land in Victoria to the university for the future location of an athletics complex. We're also growing here in Katy, the UH system is opening a new 80,000 square foot building in Katy in the fall of 2019 that will house degrees programs offered by both UHV and the University of Houston main campus. In addition, UHV is now part of the Houston Guided Pathways to Success, an initiative uh, started by Dr. Paula Short, a collaboration of two and four year institutions in the Texas Gulf Coast regions that are working to increase higher education completion rates. Thank you very much for going on your academic journey with us, and thank you for your UHV pride. As you just heard, this is a great time to be a Jaguar. It is now my privilege to invite the Honorable Andrew Teo, the student regent on the UH System Board of Regents, to bring greetings on behalf of the regents. He will be followed by Dr. Paula Myrick Short, 
the UH System Senior Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, who will bring greetings from the UH System Administration. Good morning. It is with great pleasure that I stand before you today to deliver greetings on behalf of the University of Houston System Board of Regents and on behalf of our fellow students at our three sister institutions, the University of Houston, UH Clear Lake, and UH Downtown. I am honored to serve on the Board of Regents, representing the system's 74,000 students, including all of you. When I'm not attending to Board Affairs, I'm working to complete my own undergraduate degree, and I'm looking forward to the day, next May, where I'll be at a ceremony very similar to this one, ready to receive a diploma of my own. As a student myself, I know your journey to this stage was not an easy one. I know there were unexpected challenges that made it difficult to get to this day. But I also know that by making the sacrifices to overcome those obstacles, by facing those challenges, by surmounting those hurdles, you have proven that persistence leads to success. But that success is not yours alone, and the journey that you've been on for the past several years is one in which many have played a part. Whether it was a fellow student who helped you out with the last minute tweak to a project, a professor who gave you some help on a tricky assignment, or a mentor who gave you some sound advice when you needed it most, we have all benefited from the support of others. So take a good look around you right now and find those who have stood strong by your side on every step of that journey, your peers, your UHV faculty and staff, your proud friends and relatives, and of course, your parents. We all have loved ones who have shaped us on our journeys. Remember to thank them and to thank them often. I know that UH Victoria has taught you not just to reach expectations, but to exceed them and then to redefine them. And over the past several months, I have witnessed this firsthand. UHV is 100% committed to its students, and you, the students, are 100% committed to your university. As Dr. Glenn shared, the forthcoming University Commons, the famous 1159 Lounge, the planned residential hall and STEM building, the strong academic programs, these are all just a few of the ways that UHV shows its commitment to its students. And you, the students, as the beneficiaries of that commitment, give back to the university with, for example, your support and patronage of JP's market, your leadership in student organizations, your participation in intramural athletics, and many other projects that enrich the university experience, not just for you and your peers, but for generations of students to follow. A few weeks ago, I was a guest at the President's Annual Report and Excellence Awards, and in attendance, I saw elected officials, community leaders, business owners, alumni, friends, families, and many other supporters, all coming together to celebrate the accomplishments of this institution, proof of the high regard and respect that the Victoria community has for its hometown university. So when you come up and cross this stage, receive your diploma and turn your tassel and begin the journey of the rest of your lives, be proud to call yourself a graduate of the University of Houston, Victoria. And so on behalf of the Board of Regents and your peers from throughout the system, congratulations class of 2018 and go Jaguars. I love his enthusiasm. He is a wonderful regent. He's appointed by the governor. I think you should know that. And as a student, attend so many events supporting you, the students throughout our system. And we very much appreciate his leadership and the contributions he's making as a student regent. So uh, as others have said, congratulations certainly are in order today. And I bring you those congratulations from the University of Houston system and its leadership. And I can sense the excitement and the anticipation and probably some exhaustion 
that you might feel getting to this point in your academic journey. But you made it, and that's the important thing. Regent Tio is correct. Your presence here today marks a reflection of hard work and commitment to academic excellence. It's also a reflection, I suspect, as many others have said, of the support that you've received from family, from friends, from associates, from workers, co-workers, and others who've been there for you through that journey. And as already been suggested to you, be sure and reach out and thank these folks. And if you would do one more thing for me, send a handwritten note to somebody who has been extraordinarily influential and, and has provided extraordinary support for you in this journey. That way you're playing it forward, those things that have happened to you that have made you successful in here today. I also want to take a moment to recognize the faculty. I'm a faculty member myself, and I know the amount of work and care and preparation and support and mentoring that goes into that student-faculty relationship. And so I want to highlight the faculty here at the University of Houston, Victoria, because I know firsthand those kinds of contributions are significant and they're readily given. They're given with a lot of passion and a lot of heart for their students. So I thank the faculty at the University of Houston, Victoria. And I also want to acknowledge the leadership of this great university. You have a new president, Dr. Robert Glenn, and I want to welcome him on, beha on behalf of the University of Houston system to this great institution. Welcome, President Glenn. This is his first commencement. So graduates today, you become an alumnus of this institution, the University of Houston, Victoria, part of the University of Houston system. And I want to mention a couple of things about Victoria that I think are important for family and friends, for the students to recognize, and that is that this institution is recognized for a number of academic successes it's achieved and particularly the affordability of this institution, which is very important in order to make sure that we provide access to an educational opportunity, an opportunity to get a degree on the part of our citizens and on the part of our students in this great state. I will tell you that the Princeton Review, a very significant um, pro uh, journal, ranked the University of Houston's School of Business Administration in the list of its 2016 best business school, schools in the nation. And I think that kind of ranking is very important for you to know about and understand because it says the best of the best is here at the University of Houston, Victoria. And in 2017, U.S. News and World Report ranked UHV 12th for the best ethnic diversity of a regional university in the West, again reflects the Hispanic serving institution mission of this university and the fact that it serves a very diverse population and I congratulate you on that. The School of Arts and Sciences was ranked third nationally for the top 20 affordable online bachelor's degrees in communication. And affordabilitycollege.com ranked UHV 18th for the most affordable bachelor's degree in the nation. And again, I think it's important to note that UHV has one of the lowest tuitions in the state of Tennessee, in the state of Texas. Sorry, wrong state. Um, so that it gives our students, again, every opportunity to be able to come to college and to be able to financially afford getting that education that is so important to the quality of their future. Each of you that's graduating today has benefited from UHV's investment in your education. And I hope you take time to reflect on your next steps. Reflect on what this institution has given to you and reflect on where you're heading. Your future as a, a teacher, your future as a researcher, an entrepreneur, 
uh, a leader, uh, and an artist. All of those things lie ahead for you as a result of the experiences that you've had here at UHV. So I hope you'll reach out and express appreciation to the faculty that have worked with you, to the administrators that have advocated for this university so that it has the resources that it needs to be a wonderful educational institution. And I hope you're aware as alumni today that this is the institution that cares about you, the institution that has nurtured you, so, and that we will continue to reach out to you as you move forward, both this institution and the University of Houston system. I want you to know we're here for you and we're proud of you and we're always ready to stand behind you, whatever your need might be. So I wish you success as you move forward in your professional journey. Congratulations and go Jaguars. Thank you. Thank you, Regent Teo and Dr. Short. We're honored to have you both here. It's important to note that the University of Houston system has a number of graduation ceremonies going on at the same time that this one is. So for them to take time to be here to support you, I think is a real show of how much they value our presence within the system. One of the things that we try to do when we plan commencement is to find a speaker who we believe will have something to say of great value to our graduates. The goal of every institution is to have graduates who become great alumni. We're proud of what you've done. We hope to be even prouder still. And so it's a great honor for me to introduce a great example of just exactly that, a member of our UHV faculty, uh, family, an alum, Christine Holliden, who is also the founding principal of Holliden Marketers Plus Strategists, which is based in Houston. Ms. Holliden started Holliden Marketers Plus Strategists in 1993 and is a sought after strategist and speaker on various social media and marketing topics. She earned a bachelor's degree in business administration in 1985 from UHV and a master's of business administration in 1987 from Texas A&M University. She, really? <laughs> no, that's all right, we don't mind. She previously worked as a marketing professional for accounting firms KMPG Coopers and Libran and Grant Thornton in Houston. Ms. Holliden teaches the marketing section for the Certified Value Growth Advisor course and the Social Media Marketing Session for Entrepreneurship Boot Camp for Veterans with Disabilities. She is a member of many committees and professional organizations, including UHV's Campaign Leadership Committee, the Advisory Council for the McFerrin Center for Entrepreneurship at Texas A&M University, and the Board of Directors for the Aggie Angel Network. She is also Vice Charge de Presse for Sean de Roustouz Houston, a global wine and food society. We are extremely pleased and honored when Ms. Holliden accepted our invitation to be the fall commencement speaker. Please join me in giving her a warm UHV welcome. Thank you very much, and greetings to the University of Houston Victoria graduating class of 2018. Thank you, Dr. Glenn, Dr. Cockrum, Dr. Short, deans, faculty, and distinguished guests for allowing me to share in this important occasion. I was thrilled when I was invited to speak today. I felt a lot of responsibility and pressure to make my speech memorable responsibility to live up to the expectations of the leadership of the University of Houston Victoria and because today is a special day for all of you. But it's also a special day for me as well. In the past three years, I've given more than 200 presentations, workshops, and webinars across 17 states. This presentation is different for one very important reason. My mother is here. She hears about my speaking engagements all the time, but today is actually the first day that she'll get to hear me in person. So mom, I'm here to make you proud. 
And today, I know for all of you, you have loved ones here, because we heard it when you were walking in, to see you accomplish a great goal. I grew up in Lolita, Texas, which I'm sure some of you know, and I used to say it was a town of 500 people, well, 499 since I moved. My dad was the postmaster, a rancher and president of the school board for many years. My mom was a clerk for the local railroad. Both were active in our community and our church. My mom and my teachers were my female role models. I'm from a family of four boys and two girls where we were all instilled a very strong work ethic from our parents and had a very strict upbringing. Lolita was a great place to be raised and to live, but deep down I wanted more, even though I didn't know at the time what more meant. So that feeling and my decision to act on it is what caused me to embark on my life's journey. Even though my journey is far from over, there are certain experiences that stand out. They stand out because of the impact of a particular decision or opportunity I had in my life. And in thinking about today, I decided to relay my life's journey in various chapters, each of which reflects a life lesson that I hope you will take with you as the chapters of your life unfold. So here goes with chapter one. Your route is being recalculated. Going to college was something that my parents just expected of all six of us. It was just a given. If I wanted to do anything with my life, and I did, college was the answer. At that time, few women worked outside the home, and I didn't know any who had careers. Few members of my high school graduating class of 54 were even considering going to college. In fact, I was one of six who actually achieved a college degree, and only two of us achieved a graduate degree. While I didn't know what I wanted to do, I knew majoring in business would give me options. I thought, I know, I'll be a businesswoman, whatever that meant. I chose to attend the University of Houston Victoria for several reasons. This university offered a quality education with personalized attention. Since I didn't know exactly which direction I wanted to head in my career, I knew I could benefit greatly from personal attention. I remember numerous classes where my professors would offer guidance and input. My professors saw more in me than I saw in myself. My experience at UHV was everything I'd hoped it would be, exposure to new people, new concepts in the world of business, which opened my eyes to infinite possibilities. For the first time, this girl from Lolita started to have an idea of what could be. I wasn't raised with a silver spoon in my mouth. Much of my education was paid for by vocal scholarships earned by singing in the UHV VC choir. And like many of you, I worked to make ends meet. I got a job with a local restaurant group. I did the bookkeeping in one restaurant early each morning so I could make it to class by 8.30 a.m. Classes would end shortly after lunch, and I'd spend the remainder of the afternoon studying. Then off to another restaurant to work until 10 or 11 at night. Upon graduation, the restaurant offered me a management job. I think it was because I discovered that the manager was stealing money and I refused to stand idly by. I moved to Corpus Christi, where I met the most fascinating people and learned the fundamentals of customer service. I was beginning to see what the future could be. I view life's journey like Google Maps, Waze, or whatever app you use to get from point A to point B. You set your destination and then encounter a traffic jam or detour, take an unexpected turn, or an unplanned stop. Then it recalculates the route and your journey continues. The choices you make may result in smooth sailing detours, traffic jams, or a road filled with potholes. Each one is a lesson and an opportunity. 
The new route may be recalculated and not be what you planned, but it may indeed be more scenic. Let yourself enjoy the journey. Chapter two, lost in the mail. While working for the restaurant group in Corpus, a friend was studying for the GMAT. By the time I knew my career needed a jump start, and graduate school sounded like the perfect solution. I didn't realize it at the time, but the restaurant experience was leading me toward my marketing career. I set my sights on getting an MBA, took the GMAT, and my test got lost in the mail. Some turn of events for a postmaster's daughter, wouldn't you say? I called the graduate schools where I'd applied. No one would talk to me. In fact, they wouldn't even take my calls. I finally convinced Dr. Dan Robertson with Texas A&M to hear me out. He pulled my file and said, surprisingly so, come on, we'll figure it out when you get here. He recognized something in me that I hadn't recognized in myself. In the end, the test results arrived two days before the deadline, and I was officially accepted. When I arrived at graduate school, I needed a job and to beef up my resume beyond my restaurant experience. I applied for the only opening at the Texas Engineering Experiment School, or Experiment Station, one that paid twice as much as the teaching assistant positions. I was determined and got selected. I needed additional money to finish school and applied for the highly competitive Texas Business Hall of Fame Foundation scholarship. I focused and won it. I ran for president of the MBA MS Association. If elected, I would be the first female president of that group. I won. I applied for the prestigious summer study program, the Washington Campus, where a select group of graduate students from across the country studied the governmental process in Washington, D.C. I focused my energy on being selected as the delegate, and I did it. That summer was not only an amazing education, but it's also where I met my husband of 30 years, Jeff. As I said, when I set my sights on something, well, that's another story, but it has lasted 30 years. My world was looking positive. I had bolstered my resume with work experience scholarship, summer study program, and a student leadership position. But my life, but life isn't always predictable or fair. Three weeks prior to finishing my degree and a few weeks before he was to retire, my father passed away. After the funeral, I helped my mother settle my dad's affairs and then mustered all my strength to return, to complete my degree and graduate. You see, my dad was my hero. It was not easy to continue on, but I knew what I had to do. I got things back on track. The lesson is to be laser focused on what you want to achieve and stay the course even when life isn't fair or that important document gets lost in the mail. Never ever lose sight of your goals. Chapter three, from rejection to opportunity. Jeff and I were getting married and moving to Houston. He landed a job in commercial real estate. I was still working in College Station. To make our plans work, I needed a job in Houston. I'd become interested in the world of venture capital and did some research, since sent personal letters, since email didn't exist at the time, to the top six Houston-based venture capital firms. I quickly learned from the five rejection letters I got almost immediately that they weren't hiring people with my background. All the letters finished the same way. Thank you. We'll keep your resume on file. Well, I knew which round file they meant, the wastebasket. But one firm had still not responded. I had one chance. Then I got a phone call from a woman named Mary Bass. She worked for the venture capital firm who had not sent me a rejection letter yet. I thought, this is it. Here's my entree into venture capital. But Mary wasn't calling to offer me a job. She was calling with a rejection. She was polite, professional, and gracious, but I made a decision. I could thank her for the call and hang up rejected, or I could seize the moment and not go down without a fight. I chose the latter. 
I asked Mary if she had two more minutes, and she did. I told her about myself, my background, and I was getting married, moving to Houston with or without a job. I made it clear I was not asking her for a job, but I was asking for advice. She paused and said, you know, I was just talking to a contact at Grant Thornton. They're looking for a senior consultant, and you'd be perfect. Here's his name and his telephone number. You tell him that Mary Bass said to call. I could not believe it. An opportunity from a rejection. I immediately picked up the phone and called Grant Thornton, introduced myself, mentioned Mary's name, of course, and we talked for several minutes. He ended the call by saying, send me your resume. Less than five minutes later, the phone rang. It was John calling back, and he said, I just spoke to our senior partner, and he asked to get you in here for an interview. The calls with Mary and John at Grant Thornton happened on a Friday. I interviewed on Wednesday and accepted their job offer the very next day. Less than one week, I went from no opportunities to a job with an international accounting and consulting firm. It's amazing what happens when you ask someone for help. And yes, Mary and I are still really good friends and golfing buddies to this day. I worked as a consultant for Grant Thornton until one day the managing partner called me into his office. Now, it wasn't typically good news when the managing partner asked you in for a meeting. But he told me that the national office was rolling out an initiative in key geographic areas, and the Houston office was instructed to start a marketing department. He went on to ask if I'd like to work for him directly and be the marketing department. I had taken a number of marketing courses at UHV and in graduate school, and I had done well in them. I still didn't know a lot about professional services marketing, but Jim Hayden saw something in me, and I was not going to pass up an incredible opportunity. I said yes and hit the ground running. In the ensuing years, I was recruited to join PwC, Coopers and Librand at the time, in regional marketing, then to director of marketing at KPMG in Houston. I was their first professional marketing person. My 10 years of professional marketing experience at some of the most esteemed firms in the country all started with that simple and sincere conversation with Mary Bass. I chose not to accept the outcome in front of me and instead took things in a different direction. The lesson is you can either sit idly by and hope you float through the door of opportunity or you can choose to paddle your own canoe. Always paddle your own canoe. The waters may not be calm, and you may get weary, tired, and discouraged. Know that the strength to keep paddling, no matter what, emanates from believing in your infinite potential. Others may see your true potential before you do. To grow and reach that potential, you must envision what lies beyond and give yourself permission to believe in yourself. Chapter four, a leap of faith. Despite my success with large companies, I knew I had an entrepreneurial niche or itch. I decided to leave the comfort and security of a large firm, take a leap of faith, and start my own business 25 years ago. In hindsight, I knew a lot about marketing, but little about running or building a marketing firm. Now we serve clients across the country and have earned a solid reputation in the field of professional services marketing. But it hasn't been an easy journey. I had to learn how to market our firm, get new clients, run the administrative aspect of it, and provide quality services to our clients at the same time. I read everything I could, joined professional groups to learn from other business owners, and did a lot by trial and error and there were a lot of errors. Along the way, we've experienced much success and also had our fair share of mistakes. 
Mistakes manifest into something bigger only if you let them. A mistake is only a part of a chapter, often just a short sentence or two. It is never the whole book. Missteps, poor decisions, poor choices will happen. We all make mistakes, but that's how we learn. The lesson is a mistake does not define you. It is what you take from that mistake, what you learn from that mistake, and what you choose to do next that defines you. Chapter five, a journey of many. I'm almost finished. This one's short. <laughs> Life's journey is never a solitary one. There are people who influence our decisions and our thinking, people who teach us life's lessons, mentors, teachers, friends, and family who make us the people we are today. I didn't get to where I am today without the help of others. Mrs. Bonneau, my first grade teacher who taught me to love to learn, Ruth Williams, the UHVVC choir director, who gave me the courage to perform in front of an audience and taught me to project to the back of the auditorium. Mary Bass, who gave me two more minutes. Dr. Robertson, who actually listened. Peggy Gibson, my longtime mentor and dear friend. My father, who, worked a, who instilled a strong work ethic and left me with these last words before he passed away. I know you'll do fine. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to do. My mother, who's always been my biggest fan, and my dear husband, Jeff, who's listened to more of my crazy ideas and complaints and edited more things that I've written than I can count. No matter where you are in life, be a giver. Offer someone else a hand up, be supportive, be a mentor. Be the light in others' lives and that light will make your life shine brighter. And the closing chapter that everybody's been waiting for, the journey is a bundle of choices. I'm a big believer in goals. As I started speaking to promote my business, I set a goal for myself and I achieved that goal today. To speak in front of a crowd of thousands. Today, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for helping me achieve my goal and allowing me to share part of my life's journey. I will never forget my graduation from the University of Houston, Victoria. Such a feeling of pride, accomplishment, and potential. I hope you all take a moment to look around and take it all in. Remember this day is a milestone in the beginning of a new chapter of your own. As you enter this new chapter, my message is never settle. The enemy of the best is not the worst. The enemy of the best is good enough. The message is, and the lesson is good enough, is never good enough. At the end of the day, you either have the results you want based on the choices you make and the effort you put forth, or you are left with a life filled with the reasons why not and the emptiness of blaming others for your failures. It's your choice. In our journeys, we all have the freedom of choice, but every choice we make has an impact or ripple of some kind. While we cannot always know every impact of every decision, we must accept personal responsibility and accountability. So choose well and embrace your successes and failures. In the end, when you make the best decisions you can possibly make, things will work out the way they are supposed to work out. And know that if it hasn't worked out, it is not the end. I will leave you with the words of Roy T. Bennett. You graduates are braver than you think, more talented than you know, and capable of more than you can imagine. Be the best you there is. Good luck, graduating class of 2018, and congratulations.
Well, I think you'd agree with me that I believe she's made her mama proud, has she? I think so. Congratulations. And we're proud, too. We have a little token here. We'll be engraving your name on a brick and placing it in front of the University Center building in your honor. So thank you thank so you much for much. being here. And now, Dr. Cochran, the UHV Interim Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, will recognize some special graduates. UHV has outstanding graduates, but those graduating with honors have shown the special dedication in their studies, and I am pleased to recognize them today. Candidates gra graduating cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude are wearing gold braids over their robes, and their names are listed in your program, along with an explanation of what each honor means. Would all the candidates for honors please stand and be recognized? Please be seated. Next, I would like to call your attention to student members of academic honor societies. These students are wearing cords or stoles to indicate membership in these societies, which are listed in your program as well. Would all the student members of these honor societies please stand and be recognized? Please be seated. You may also have noticed that a number of graduates are wearing red, white, and blue intertwined graduation cords. We call these our Patriot Cords. These individuals are wearing the Patriot Cords because they're veterans of the United States Armed Forces. At this time, we ask that all graduating veterans, as well as any, any other veterans in the facility, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. UHV thanks and salutes you for your service to our country. We also have with us graduating international students who are proudly wearing a sash of their country of citizenship. UHV is honored to have nine international students from eight countries represented at our commencement ceremony today. International students are those enrolled at UHV on an F or a J student visa status. Would those students please stand and be recognized? Thank you. In addition, we have some special members of the UHV class of 2018 who are wearing Jaguar Spirit Cords. These generous students are participating in our Jags Give Back program, and we appreciate their support of UHV. Would those students please stand and be recognized? Please be seated. Finally, I would like to recognize the outstanding students for the fall semester selected by the schools of Arts and Sciences, Business Administration, and Education, Health Professions, and Human Development. These students were selected based on their academic record and related achievements. Please hold your applause until everyone is recognized. Would the following students please stand? In the School of Arts and Sciences, Colby E. Stokes, outstanding graduate student, and Tyler B. Ramsey, outstanding undergraduate student. In the School of Business Administration, Ashley Burns, outstanding graduate student, and Tyson Lopez and Andrea Rodriguez, outstanding undergraduate students. In the School of Education, Health Professions, and Human Development, Lori Ann Santos-Moore, 
Outstanding graduate student in Emmeline F. Junick, outstanding undergraduate student. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. We will now present the candidates for degrees. The candidates for degrees in the School of Arts and Sciences will be presented by Dean Jeffrey DeLeo. Dr. DeLeo. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Applied Arts and Sciences, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Interdisciplinary Studies, Master of Fine Arts, and Master of Science, please rise. On behalf of the faculty, I present these candidates as having fulfilled the requirements for the designated degrees and recommend that the appropriate degrees be conferred. Will the candidates please be seated. The candidates for degrees in the School of Business Administration will be presented by Interim Dean Chuck Stowe. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Business Administration, Master of Business Administration, and Master of Science please rise? <laughs> On behalf of the faculty, I present these candidates as having fulfilled the requirements for the designated degrees and recommend that the appropriate degrees be conferred. Will the candidates please be seated. The candidates for, for degrees in the School of Education, Health Professions, and Human Development will be presented by Dean Fred Litton. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and Master of Education please rise. <laughs> On behalf of the faculty, I present these candidates as having fulfilled the requirements for the designated degrees and recommend that the appropriate degrees be conferred. Please remain standing. Will the candidates for all degrees please rise? Will, will the faculty and platform party please rise? President Glenn, it is my distinct honor to present to you these degree candidates who are students in good standing at the University of Houston, Victoria, and have completed all the requirements for their respective degrees as set forth by the faculty of the university. I recommend it that these degrees be conferred. You've spent a number of years going to class and answering the role and saying you were present. But to be present means you are here, in this moment, aware. And I want to take your presence here today to remind you that every great thing you will accomplish in your life, you will accomplish with others. And you are here today surrounded by the people who figuratively and literally brought you to this place. It's the mark of an educated person to know the importance of gratitude. 
and the importance of saying thank you. So before we go one step further, I want to remind you that these are the people that you have done a great thing with. Don't leave this place without putting your arm around their necks and say thank you because it's important. By the power invested in me by the state of Alabama and the Board of Regents of the University of All right, sometimes you just screw up. <laughs> by the authority vested in me by the state of Texas. <laughs> Rookie mistake. <laughs> by the authority vested in me by the state of Texas and on behalf of the faculty of the School of Arts and Sciences, the School of Business Administration, and the School of Education, Health Professions, and Human Development, I now confer upon each of you and upon those graduating in abstention your respective degrees with all rights, honors, and privileges thereunto appertaining. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduating class of the University of Houston, Victoria. Please be seated before I have a chance to mess up again. Audience members, you are welcome to take photos of your graduate when it is his or her turn to walk in front of the stage. If you choose to take a photo in a location other than your seat, please wait to leave your seat until the name of your graduate school is announced. Please use the second level northeast and northwest landing areas for taking photos. This will allow an orderly procession and ample time for all guests to get the best photos possible. We will announce degrees by school. Dr. Keith Akins will announce degrees for the School of Arts and Sciences, followed by Dr. Ron Salazar for Business Administration, and Dr. Amy Barnhill for Education, Health Professions, and Human Development. I would like to invite Regent Teo and Dr. Short and Mrs. Hollanden to join Dr. Glenn in extending congratulations to our graduates. We will now have the presentation of the fall 2018 graduating class. Will the faculty marshals please assist the graduates? It is my privilege to announce the names of the, those receiving degrees from the School of Arts and Sciences. Susanna Aiken. Shana Elise Barker, cum laude. Mindy Eileen Barron, magna cum laude. Shirley Rayleigh Fuller. Charles Tanner Howells, summa cum laude. Brent Justin Hernandez. Paul Lambert Hoover, cum laude. Edward Irigoyen, Jr. <laughs> Elizabeth, 
Alicia R. Matthews. Jenna Lee Melhorn, magna cum laude. Mike Ninda Mukasa. Margaret Jean Payanas. Okay. Cedric Rebino. Monica Ann Rubio. Pedro Adama Sertucci. Jasmine J. Smith. Kenya Elizabeth Suarez, summa cum laude. Kelsey K. Supak. James Timothy Thomas, summa cum laude. Christopher G. Villarreal. David M. Weeks. Stephanie Marie West. Monica Dawn Wilson. Marcy Lynn Aldred, magna cum laude. Isabella Andreo Aparicio, summa cum laude. Krishna Baez, magna cum laude. Ariel R. Beza. Cody Allen Bohm, cum laude. Shannon Lee Brown, cum laude. Cheryl Ferris Clayton. Kyler Renee Debion. Carolina DeLeon. Chiquita DeMonica Edwards. Kimberly Ellis. Douglas Blake Foster. Rebecca May Hendricks, summa cum laude. Jesus Emmanuel Martinez. Amber Brianna Parker, summa cum laude. Ashley N. Pritchett. Crystal Rodriguez. Amber Nicole Segovia. Yvonne. 
Adrian Yvonne Smith. Shayla Abigail Solis. Jesse S. Tijerina, cum laude. Kaylee Renee Williams. Olumuyaiwa Olugbinga Aina. Sophia Ali, summa cum laude. Kristen Renee Armstrong, magna cum laude. Dolores Danielle Baker. Reba Jane Baker. Lawanda Yvonne Ben McMurray. Sophia Helen Biosioli, magna cum laude. Diane Medelli Abaya Borbin. <laughs> Cynthia Brandstetter, summa cum laude. <laughs> Cassandra Cabrera. Nisa Olivia Caldwell. Brittany Nicole Cervantes. Maria Isabel Delgado. Isaac Ellenbaz. It's cum laude. Ashley M. Fulmer, cum laude. Mabel Judith Galdemez. Joseph Adam Galvin, who was a UHV employee. Camilo Garcia. <laughs> Stephanie Maria Heil. Marcus Anthony Hernandez. Susanna Lee Hoff. Fernando Sariva Sampaio. Ryan Spencer Hubner. Associ Brenda Igene. Taylor Camille Jefferson. <laughs> Kathleen Louise Jones. <laughs> Heather Nicole Krischke.
Zamantha Lanza Sanchez. Marlon Lavario, cum laude. Danielle S. Lazama. Jeff W. Maddox. Jacqueline Rose Mancias. Kevin Darby McCullough, summa cum laude. Marilyn Mendoza. Tierra Nicole Morris. Joshua Teddy Munoz, cum laude. James Murphy, cum laude. Ricky Nguyen, cum laude. Marissa Alana Oreskovic, summa cum laude. Stephanie Lynn Overstreet. Bradley Franklin Pierce, magna cum laude. Cheryl Nicole Pruitt. Luis Angel Ramirez. Tyler B. Ramsey, cum laude, an outstanding graduate. Lola Ojo. Sydney Alexandria Ray. Elizabeth Raimundo. Kisuth Evans Remo. Jennifer Marie Reyes. Rachel Marie Alspa. Brandy Natasha Robertson. Angelique Marie Rodriguez, magna cum laude. Guadalupe F. Rodriguez. Marisol Rodriguez. Melinda Samudio, cum laude. Thomas John Salou. Stephanie Marie Sheffield. Clinique Monet Stevens. Jalisa Shade Stewart.
Tatiana Denise Vasquez Suarez, magna cum laude. Jeremy Jermaine Thompson. Christine Ha Vu. Casey Carche Waits. Leslie Jacob Welch, cum laude. Miles Kane Day. Nora Swede, cum laude. Cecily Martinez. the best I could. I am now pleased to announce the names of those receiving their master's degrees from the School of Arts and Sciences. Hello. Jennifer Beltran. Monica Marie Jeffrey. Marissa Aurora Gonzalez. Mark Ryan Kelly. <laughs> Jean Dortick Merck. Ashley Lee Moulton. Denise Elizabeth Nolasco. <laughs> Stephanie Weston Thayer. Rosie Alexandria Zachary. Richard Dwayne Hawksworth, Sr. Colby E. Stokes, Outstanding Graduate. Bobby Dean Horechka. Ashley Elizabeth Kilday. <laughs> Madhvi Bavaraju. Somia Parvathy Bodetti. Lalit Chabra. Richard Cologne.
Natasha Flavia Hanley. Rashantha Nana Yukara. Nicholas Deshan Nallen, UHV employee. Christian Okuchukuhu. Madhu Priya Ramu. Katie Ann Sanford. <laughs> Bekti Swapnil Saraf. <laughs> Nagme Shahbegi. John W. Simmons. Vijayalakshmi Thangavelu. It is my privilege to announce the names of the candidates that have earned the degree of Bachelors of Business Administration. Adedeo Oluwatosin Adetomewa. Yours is easy. Juhaina Rasha Ahmed. Martha Laura Alonso, magna cum laude. Dulce Daniel Alvarado. Ibrahim Khalil Aliaser, magna cum laude. Martha Gloria Diaz de Baladran. Thank you. Jonathan Alvaro Banuelos. Thank you. Christina Marie Barraza, magna cum laude. Easy. Portia Deshay Blanks. Luke Matthew Blundell. Lauren Calloway. Donelia Canales. Teresa Cepeda Casares. Amanda Nicole Chacon, cum laude. Eric P. Christensen. Brittany Christian Austin.
Diana Michelle Costa Cum Laude. Christian Stephanie Cruz Martinez. Priscilla Alicia De Leon Magna Cum Laude. Hunter D. Devane. Amar Ch Chandrakant Dolakia. Jorge Duran. Carla A. Irwin, magna cum laude. Megan Brianne Fannin. Jamie? Jamie Alyssa Flores, magna cum laude. Jacqueline E. Foster, magna cum laude. Alejandro Javier Garcia. Michelle Lee Gardner. Velbeth Giron. Goins. Hearts. Goins. Goins. Maya Goins. Claudia Daggett Haas. Sarah Marie Hammock, magna cum laude. Hake? Hawk? Mohammed Aminul Hawk. Imad Hassan Sume cum laude. Ethan Reed Hoover, magna cum laude. Sadie Saida Hosseini, summa cum laude. Jamie Caitlin Hurtado. Denura Jones. Joanna Kawaja. Ahmed Tala Kurshid. Fuang Lam, magna cum laude. Jessica Stephanie Larios, summa cum laude. Jaden Dene Lauterbach, magna cum laude. Paul Boyce Littleton. Tyson Shea Lopez, summa cum laude and outstanding student. Malik. Mohammed Omar Malik. Dilver Cower Mand. Kiera Nicole McGee. Jacqueline Awalani Medeiros. Jacob Arab Mikalski. Got it, Kevin, thank you. Kevin Paul Mulcahy. Jeffrey Dean Nash, Jr. Shavonda L. Nero, magna cum laude.
Jenny Trang Nguyen. Lana Nguyen, cum laude. Tanya Pham Nguyen. Maheen Nur Mohammed. Nikki Taylor North, cum laude. Lorena Eugenia Oreana Cum Laude. Paranel Housen. Kimberly Ann Paranel Housen, Magna Cum Laude. Rebecca S. Pham. Anna E. Ponce. Robin Nicole Rademacher, cum laude. Shanika Ricketts. Latanya Renee Roberts, summa cum laude. Andrea Beatriz Rodriguez, summa cum laude and outstanding student. Desiree Dawn Rodriguez. Elias Rodriguez. Herman? Herman Rodriguez. Ali Ramses Rojas. Eknit Kar Saini, magna cum laude. Schaff. Colin Norman Schaff, magna cum laude. <laughs> Tawana R. Scott, magna cum laude. Christina Monet Silguero. Naomi Hernandez, cum laude. Staten. Hannah Nicole Staten. <laughs> Kayla Nicole Sturm. T. Emily T. Watcher. Watcher. Amy Vosick. Vahalik. Jos Jonathan Joseph Vahalik. <laughs> Catherine Ann Van Wormer, cum laude. I got this one. <laughs> Gabriela Velastigi. Mubin Wally Momin. Jada Walton, UHV employee. Gamoya? Omar Wilson, magna cum laude. Dana Lynn Weimer, cum laude. Lisa McLaren. Ryan Bo Garza. It's now my honor to present the candidates for the degree of Masters of Business Administration. Manchu Abraham. Congratulations.
Aliu Abu Bakar. Grace Adiemi. <laughs> Na Chris Christabel Adeyinka Ojo. Hi, good. Matthew Bro Alexander, UHV employee. How do you say it? Great. Diana M. Alisea. Ashley Allison. Abudan Bonjo. Good. Congratulations. <laughs> Carlos. Rojas. Sorry, I got a little too fast. Congratulations, dude. Parvathi Bhaskara. Ashley Brooke Burns, our outstanding MBA student. Christopher Lee Butler. It's a real. Sean Michael Cawthon. Charbula. Courtney Lee Charbula. Buchtaba. Buchtaba. Cloudhari. Thank you. <laughs> Mujtaba Kodhari. Oh, Josue David Cisneros. Yours is easy. Hamdi Mohammed Yasin El Nahas. Eric Clinton Fleming. Arthur. Rathinam. Good to see you. Rajesh, Rajesh Athirathanam. Gosh. 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 
Swasti Ghosh. Gaurav Gupta. Michelle Elizabeth Hernandez. Raj Kumar Kalia Permal. Sintera Jackson. <laughs> Kamran F. Kalik. Chin Rong Kong. Fan Long Lei. Amanda Fan Long Lei. Deneric. Deneric Lopez. Mark Andrew Messina. Lupic? Lupic. Thank you. Nazir Lupic. This is a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph Martinez. Sigrid Miranda. Thank you. Nicholas Edward Mundy. Thank you. Inada Patrick. Faisal Rahman. Faisal Rahman. Here's his easy. Marina Hinojosa Rivera. Jennifer Ann Seeberger. Bargav Sharma. Bargav Sharma. Ranjana Sharma. Ranjana Sharma. Sonia.
Sonia Sharma. Laura Caitlin Sinclair. How are you? Good to see you. Santo Sivarajan. Kaylee. M. Smith. Thank you. Afton Michelle Taylor. Kelly Rochelle Thomas. <laughs> Angelica Trujillo. Dazelle R. Turner. Aparna Venkataraman. Tamora Michelle Watson Moss. David Michael Young. Jesus Zamorano. Joe Zeng. Call me. Morgan Angel Williams. Adobia, Adobia. Theophilus Eribbo Adobia. privilege now to announce the names of those receiving bachelor's degrees from the School of Education, Health Professions, and Human Development. Carly Albert, cum laude. Caitlin Carter, cum laude. Jameson Tori Dumont. Darren K. Gallup. Marcelo Flores Garcia, magna cum laude. K. 
Kayla Marie Gutierrez. Allison Elizabeth Hammond. Kylie J. Hicks, summa cum laude. Kimberly Nicole Kruger. Wesley Joe Kutak. Christoph C. Merrim. Clayton Howard Mitty. Dal Dalton Wade Rodriguez. Tristan Lee Sanchez. William Sanchez, cum laude. Anthony Dwayne Slade. Danya Gabriela Alcaraz. Kennedy Brienne Ariaga, summa cum laude. Amethyst E. Ayala. Esther Basaldua. Claudia Delgado, magna cum laude. Myra E. Fonseca, summa cum laude. Brittany Renee Garcia, magna cum laude. Jody Lynn Garcia. Gabrielle Lauren Garza, magna cum laude. Jenny Garza. Lori Marie Guidry, magna cum laude. Yasmin Hernandez. Aaron Elenfeld, magna cum laude. Deborah Annette Jennings, summa cum laude. Emmeline F. Junick, summa cum laude and outstanding student. Christy Denise Kelso, summa cum laude. Kelsey Renee Leach, summa cum laude. Evangelina Valadez Loxty. Myra Carmela Mancera, cum laude. Elizabeth Catherine Manfrey. Michelle Ortiz, magna cum laude. Christopher Edmund Palmer. Wendy Ann Quinn. Caitlin Marie Rhodes, cum laude. Kristen Marie Rodriguez. Stacy Nicole Shires. Melissa Ann Snyder. Adeline Sotelo Salgado.
Christina Alita Stoutmeister, cum laude. Aaron J. Steinberg, summa cum laude. Stephanie Nicole Stiles. Jennifer Miwin Tran. Valentina Hoyos Via Summa Cum Laude. Jacqueline M. Braun, Cum Laude. Catherine McCuller Hill, Magna Cum Laude. Brenda Earl, Summa Cum Laude. Sarah Perez, Cum Laude. Belinda Salinas. Samantha L. Sanderson, Cum Laude. Ashley Guerin Sterling, Summa Cum Laude. I am now pleased to announce the names of those receiving their master's degrees from the School of Education, Health Professions, and Human Development. Cheryl L. Anthony. Sarah Ann Baller. Fatima Zora Berada. Jennifer Lee Brewer. Ebony Nicole Brunn. Lori Mitchell Buner. Corey C. Burgess. Caitlin Carnes. Wanda Yvonne Carter Dyer. Jeanette Noel Clark. Robin M. Croson. Molly Maureen Cueto. Jean Ann Dudenay. Melissa Joyce Field. Robin Carlette Fluellen. Angelica Melita Griffin.
Douglas J. Harbruger. Dominique Nicole Harrison. Jason LeVar Harrison. Stacy Lynn Hartfield. Melissa Hernandez. Sierra Wainwright Herod. <laughs> Chanel Ann Hicks, UHV employee. Farzana Islam. Melissa Joy Marie Knight. Siobhan Debrett Kelly. Chelsea Jean Kroll. Andrea Leal Kruger. Larry Laurent Jr. Chelsea Rayanne Love. Katrina Lozano. Mario Alexander McDonald. Katie Marchena Roldan. Monty Jason Marquez. Lori Ann Maurer, outstanding student. Jessica Ann Morgan. Alicia Marie Pace. Karashia Covington Parker. Blanca Elvira Pena. Stacy Marie Corles. Ismael Solomon Rangel.
Philip Romero Reyes. Elizabeth Jean Ross. Mary Seville. Leo Thomas Sharon. Sarah Luce Silva. Ashley Nicole Stearns. Victoria Stuckman. Linda Michelle Taylor. Claudia Lee Torres. Juan Jose Torres. Tamsila Sana Ulhak. Sharon Varghese, UHV employee. Valerie Vanessa Villegas. Marcelina Mitchell Washington. Trey Watkins the third. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduating class of the University of Houston, Victoria, 2018. Thank you. Thank you. Please be seated. Not bad, your first standing ovation. To every graduate that comes across the stage, I say just one thing, and that is now go and do good work, which by the looks on some of your faces was a bit of a surprise. But I would remind you that this is 
not conclusion. This is commencement. You are not ending today, you are beginning. And as a graduate of this institution, you assume a responsibility to go out and show the world what the University of Houston Victoria is capable of doing. From this day forward, you are now and always shall be the sons and daughters of the University of Houston Victoria. So while we are proud of what you have done, we are proud of the work that has gotten you to this point, we expect to be prouder still. So go and do good work. At this point in our ceremony, it is customary and appropriate for bachelor's recipients to move their tassels on their mortarboard from the right to the left to signify that you are now the recipients You are now the recipients of a de degree of higher education. If you are wearing a UHV class ring, you also may turn your ring so the seal faces away from you. It is now our pleasure to induct this graduated class into the alumni of the University of Houston Victoria, now more than 19,000 strong. I would like to invite Ms. Lakita DeMerchant a UHV alumna and business development manager of Microfocus Corporation in Houston to induct the fall 2018 graduating class. Ms. DeMerchant earned a Master of Business Administration in 1999 from UHV. Good afternoon and congratulations. I graduated from the University of Houston, Victoria with an MBA and was the graduate business senator on the Student Government Association. For my undergraduate degree, I graduated from the University of Houston downtown with a BBA in Computer Information Systems. Throughout my 20 years in IT, I have worked as a pre-sales consultant known as a sales engineer today, systems analyst, consulting manager, and was the CTO of Mazeltov.com. In addition, I founded a software company that produced an app that won the United States Department of Labor Equal Pay App Competition, competing against teams from Carnegie Mellon and MIT. Being a UHV graduate was life changing. Within three months of obtaining my degree, I was able to find a new job with an immediate 40% pay increase. It helped me get my career on the fast track my parents put all they could into me, and I chose education. I will never forget the look on my parents' face when they learned I had completed my MBA studies in one year while working full-time as a systems analyst. Prior to losing my mother from metastasized ovarian cancer earlier this year, she would say, give me my flowers while I am living. This year, she asked, do you think I love you? I said, I know you do. In return, I asked her, am I everything you wanted me to be? She replied, you are where you are and doing as good as you are because you listened to me. When I did not feel like doing anything, especially going to school, I did so because she asked. From adding significant pieces to her jewelry collection to home appliances, random bouquets of flowers and fresh fruit that I would send to her throughout the year, to adding to her massive rooster collection in her kitchen, I was able to experience the joy of consistently surprising her with beautiful gifts over the years. There is no greater hell than losing a mother, especially a great mother like mine. She would be overcome with emotion to see me giving this speech. So thank you, U of H Victoria, for putting me in the position to give my mother her flowers while she was living. It has brought me the greatest joy I have ever known. So what now? What's next? She would want you and she would want me to make the most of the time that we have. Pursue every dream, set goals, 
and go about getting after it and remember to enjoy the journey. Remember when setting goals, you don't have to ask for permission, but it is okay to ask for help along your, on your journey. You are the representatives in your chosen fields and in your communities. The strength of the alumni and the university depends upon the strengths of all of you. The university is your gateway to fuller, more meaningful lives. The alumni join you in your pledge of service to the end that as alumni together, you may continue to grow in service to our great university, community, and the nation. I congratulate you once again, class of 2018. Give yourselves a round of applause. And now, I would like for everyone to turn to page seven in your commencement program and join me in singing the UHV alum, alumna, oh, I'm sorry, in singing the UHV alma mater. Thank you, Mr. Merchant. Graduates, I want to endorse her message. We invite you to become active alumni and to keep close ties to your alma mater. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us at the commencement ceremony at the University of Houston, Victoria. I will now turn the proceedings over to Dr. Cass, our Grand Marshal. Dr. Cass. Thank you, Dr. Cockrum. Congratulations, graduates. Following the recessional, the fall commencement ceremony for UHV will stand adjourned. Will everyone please remain seated during the recessional of the President's party and graduates. <laughs> 